Hey Damien, my name is Erin. I'm with Duff Digital Marketing and you had spoken with my partner and husband Rob on Facebook. So as promised, I'm shooting you this short video just to give you a few tips on how to help grow your business online. And I will keep this short, but if by the end of the video you can tell that that is certainly something that we specialize in and that's something that you're interested in doing for your business, please reach out to us and we can chat. And if not, no worries. I hope you're able to take these tips I'll give you and put them into action. The only thing I do ask, if you don't mind, would just be to give me some feedback on this video and let me know if it was helpful. But the three things we'll be going over will be content, citations, and backlinks. So first up is content, and I do have your Facebook page here, and I did see where you did have a website listed. Um, but when I click on that link, this is what is showing. So I'm not sure if this is a website you all used to have and just don't use anymore, or maybe it's under construction at this time. Um, but regardless, in, in order to speak about content, I did just pull up one of your local competitor sites here. So um, content's gonna be considered anything you can see. It does include the words, but also the pictures and what the pictures are saved as. And Google wants to see about 1,500 words on the homepage of a website. But within those 1,500 words, that gives you all the opportunity to be able to integrate in keywords that people are searching when they're looking for your services. So my suggestion with your website, if it's not something that's already in the works for you, would definitely be either to get your old website back up and running or to get a new website. Um, it truly is and a very important part of your online presence. Not only does it serve as like a digital business card for you, but it is the first step in getting ranked on Google. So with that being said, we will go back to our search results and we'll move on to the next thing, which is citations. And citations have a lot to do with this section. This is called the map pack. And a citation is basically your business name, address, and phone number listed in various directories throughout the web. And when I say directory, I mean things like Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, Yelp, Yellow Pages, really anywhere else that will allow a business to enter those kinds of details. So you would wanna check out where your competition is being listed and you wanna grab those listings for your business. But then you want to double, triple, quadruple where you're found. So for instance, if your top competitor has 10 directory listings, you wanna grab those 10 and then you want to add another 20, 30, 40. That's gonna have you completely dominating them in that space, but it does also help you to rank high on the maps here. So moving along to backlinks, and backlinks have a lot to do with this section. This is called the organic section. And the way that backlinks work is there is a website out there that has a link to your site. And it's pushing power to your site, but it's also potentially driving traffic to it. But not all backlinks are created equal. So let's say that you did some work with someone who owns an ice cream shop and they've decided they're going to take a link from their site and push one back to yours. But their link is going to be all about ice cream, so it's not gonna be very helpful. You would wanna get links from other smoke shops that send something back to your site, and that will signal to Google that that is the industry that you're in. And because of that, it's gonna be a lot more powerful, but also more unique in Google's eyes. And this is one of the tools that I use just so I can give you a visual representation. So this is for the website we just looked at and it's showing that that site currently has five referring domains, which is giving it eight backlinks, getting it found for 90 keywords. And all of this is driving about 113 people to that website per month. So let's take a look at the keywords that they're using and hopefully I can give you some examples of some good ones. Um, so right off the bat, here's a great one, Smoke Shops Tallahassee. So this is a great one because it has the two main components that we're looking for in a keyword. So it's listing the service or the industry, and then it's listing the specific location that this company is trying to target. Now, keywords work a couple of different ways. So when you are trying to drive someone to a brick and mortar store, you want to always list a location. And obviously you want to target the locations within your service area. That way when someone comes across you in the search results, they're able to come to your store because you're close enough to them. Um, but when you're selling products directly from a website, there's really no need to do that. Um, you still want to target a location, but you can target the entire United States if you'd like to, because someone simply needs to go on your website, purchase whatever it is that they're looking for, and it can be shipped directly to them. So that's something to keep in mind too. Um, but all of these kind of show you that you can use variations of the same word or phrase, and it's still gonna count as a whole new keyword for you. So um, instead of smoke shops, and this one they're using head shops. Instead of smoke shop, they're using shops. So these all kind of go to show you that. Um, but I will not bore you and have us go through all of these. 
but I do hope it at least kind of gives you an idea of the types of things that you would want to integrate into content if and when you do get your website back up or get a new site. But truly, in order to beat out your competition, you just want to make sure that you're being found in a lot of the same places they are. But as I mentioned earlier as well, also making sure that you're always adding on to that. That way you are far surpassing your competitors because that is the kind of thing that will get you on that first page of Google. But that is all that I have for you today, Damien. I do hope that this video was helpful. And if you would like more information about Duff Digital Marketing and how we can help grow your business via your online presence, please contact us. We would love to talk to you. But thanks again for your time and you have a fantastic rest of your week.